for our student union. Very nice to meet you, sir. Happy to meet you. Hello, sir. Well, nice to meet you. Good to see you. Thank you. Hello, sir. Bill Myers. Hello there. Nice You're the day. Yes, very much. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you, sir. Well, I'm pleased to see you. I've been waiting anxiously for you because I have to. You have to epitomize my favorite kind of music. Oh, Is that oh, a yeah, 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 right? Yeah, right. We're going to do one for you. That's yeah. right. Never could be one myself. Oh, is that no, right. Right. We can might be singing the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Let's sing one here for you. Do, 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 do. We figure that this is right now in the middle of the afternoon and it's time for a coffee break, maybe. So we're going to sing a coffee song. Do, 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 do. I love coffee. I love tea. I love the Java Java and it loves me. Coffee and tea and the Java and me. A cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, boy. I love Java, sweet and hot. Whoops, Mrs. Olson, I'm a coffee pie. Shoot me the pot and I'll pour me a shot. A cup, a cup, a cup, a cup, a cup. Personal collection. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very Can much. Can we get a picture with all We'd four in a group oh, here? Oh, oh, right. Those right. individuals? We would certainly do that. I want you to that right here, right, right in the middle. middle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. We'll put Rob's shoulder in your back. Good right. shape here. Between the lead and the base. That's That's right. Right. Smile, smile. Yeah. 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 <laughs> thank you, sir. Very good. There's no business like silver. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much. Thanks. Thank you, sir. We've had a wonderful day. Thank you. Oh, yeah. thank you for just giving us a few minutes of your time. It certainly means a lot. It really does. I, thank you. I enjoyed it very much. <laughs> you have a wonderful Christmas. Very good. The same thank you. Thank, thank you very day, much. Sir. Thank Happy you. Happy day, Mr. President. Good day, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Sure that's right. That's <laughs> right. Hello there. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. That's Denise, Mr. President. That's mine. I claim her. This is Susan. This is Susan. Yeah. I was just telling her, I don't think you were in here when I was telling her, that's my very favorite kind of music. We're going to tell her why you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Good day. Thank you. Mr. President, I'm surprised to see you, sir. Good to see you. Come on. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah
Yeah. Right. 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 No, after that, you're going to be here till Monday. Oh, yeah. Thank you, sir. All right. Well, take care. I'll fire at your back. How you doing? All right. Mr. President, this is very kind of you. You want to keep the time to talk to Lane Dog. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to present the National Security Medal to John Hughes. John's 33-year career, the last 23 being in the Defense Intelligence Agency, 
have been marked by extraordinary and distinguished service to the United States. Since the Cuban Missile Crisis, 1963, when John was selected by President Kennedy to provide a 90-minute nationwide television presentation on the nature of the Soviet presence in Cuba, he has been our nation's preeminent expert and spokesman for all of the most highly classified authoritative aspects of military trends, capabilities of the Soviet Union armed forces. He has attained a unique and lasting place, a place of honor for his con contributions to the security of the United States. And on behalf of the American people who owe him a very profound debt of gratitude for his selfless service, it gives me great pleasure to award him the National Medal of Freedom. Amanda will read the citation. Citation to accompany the award of the National Security Medal to John T. Hughes for outstanding contributions in the field of intelligence relating to the national security from 1952 to 1984. Mr. Hughes is honored for excellence in defense intelligence, but has brought the greatest credit upon himself, the Department of Defense, the United States intelligence community, and the nation. His outstanding devotion to duty, technical expertise, and leadership have earned the recognition of presidents, of congresses, and of leaders of free nations. Mr. Hughes has guided the reorganization and increased effectiveness of the intelligence community in the fields of reconnaissance and photography. For more than a decade, he has worked directly with successive directors of the Central Intelligence as chairman of an interdepartmental committee addressing the nation's most sensitive intelligence. From the time of the 1962 Cuban <coughs> Missile Crisis and his national briefing of U.S. surveillance activities, Mr. Hughes has emerged as the nation's preeminent expert in the authoritative monitoring, an analysis, and reporting of the military trends and capabilities of the Soviet Union's armed forces. Mr. Hughes' contributions fully warrant the award of the National Security Medal. He has earned the nation's gratitude for his unique and lasting contributions to the security of the United States. Excuse me, great pleasure. Thank you on behalf of the people. Thank you. You certainly may, yes. Oh, and here is the, I'll give this to you about the citation. Mr. President, Secretary Weinberger, distinguished guests, friends, family. I am deeply honored by this presentation of the National Security Medal, Mr. President. Noted in the stream of meeting with our president of the White House. So this for me, for me, is a great honor and a great blessing. Mr. President, for my wife, my sons, myself, we thank you. We are deeply, deeply honored. For the past 33 years, I've had the privilege and good fortune to learn and to grow in the vital intelligence profession this medal honors. During the past 33 years, I've seen We've had the opportunity to contribute to the technological evolution of our intelligence capability, and it has been an evolution measured in light years, as many of you know. I've also had the opportunity to be a, to be a spokesman on sensitive intelligence regarding Soviet military trends and capabilities and other Soviet initiatives inimical to U.S. interests. These included presentations to the Congress, senior foreign officials, and our own operational military forces. Where I've made a contribution has been to those people higher up the line, the director of DIA, the director of CIA, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the Secretary of Defense, and the President. They knew there was a vital job to be done and gave me and my countless colleagues the support we required to do our share for the national security of our great country. As a result, all, of our, all I have learned and all I have experienced over the past 33 years I have reached one conclusion, and it is a conclusion that you, Mr. President, stated so eloquently just three years ago. Good intelligence saves American lives and protects our freedom. Mr. President, I am proud to have played a role 
in such an important national endeavor. Thank you very, very much. Smithsonian is 280 million years old. <laughs> so, <laughs> they had trees then. They had them, and uh, that's what they say anyway. Uh, anyway, it was cut with a six-foot diamond blade, and then polished with diamond polishers. And uh, they valued the stone at $1,500 an inch. The eagle is a golden eagle, and I spent a year just working on the feathers, doing each one in wax. I did 250 feathers separately, and then put them all together, and I had a live golden eagle in my studio to work from, so I could get every feather perfectly. And I really had a terrific time doing that. The Indian is an Apache Indian. The necklace is a bear claw, eagle claw necklace, and uh, this was quite a thing to cast. We had to cast each piece separately and put it all together. Of course, the one bought the hunting knife. And I call it Friends of Freedom, which is appropriate for our time, I think, and yes. that we're, you know, where we are in the world today, and, and uh, this is a typically Americana type. Until <laughs> uh, then, I'm holding for a while until you're finished. The <laughs> I appreciate that very yeah. much. Thank you. I'd like you to meet uh, the donor. This is George yeah. and Shirley Isaacs. Bless you. Thank Thank you very much. Much. Sure. This is my wife, Shirley. Yeah. Well, there. Mm -hmm. well, thank you. Nice to have you. <coughs> This is my daughter Holly and my wife Nancy. This is Tom, my son. I know, that's right. I want to see him. I know him. Hello there. Nice to see you. My wife, Holly. Nice to see you. It's good to see you. Well, this is this is just wonderful. I'm doing very very well. Well, I this is just magnificent, and I can't tell you how much. We had a job getting it in here, and they're saying it's <laughs> probably going to be right here. <laughs> the stone is about 750 pounds. If you would. I just thought that you had a couple of you carried it in. <laughs> well, you know, Mr. President, I think the interesting thing that was different from the time you got the lion when you were governor was this time the group that brought the uh, Indian and the, and the rock in was, was Doug and uh, a driver that he had with him and a couple of others, Herb and I, helping. But we had a Treasury uh, Secret Service man who was checking to make sure there were no.